The context of Jeremiah times is this. Though they claim to know God, though they claim to be the people of God, the people of Judah, they have neglected, they have objected, they have rejected the word of God. If only they could repent, they could know God's justification and joy. So if we, when it comes to the words of God, here in these three chapters, we see actually three types of responses with regards to the word of God. It's common even today. It is common to us. And this morning, we need to self-examine our life, whether we give the appropriate response to the word of God. Today, many people have actually watered down the word of God. We have taken God's word lightly. Afterward, I would show you an example of a life that has been truly faithful to the word of God. And God has used this man powerfully. Even the non-Christian community recognize his contribution. And even today, China, you go to China, you see a monument put up by the communist government in honor of this life who uphold to the very dot the word of God. So first kind of response is that there are some who ignore the word when the word is given. In chapter 34, we see that the people ignore the word of God. And let me give you two good reasons why we should not ignore the word of God. Firstly, it is this, that the word of God tells us of our future. We don't have to consult the horoscope to find out our future. We don't have to consult the fortune teller to tell our future. We don't have to consult the feng shui master to tell us the potential of our office for business. We turn to the word of God that will tell us of our future, clear and straightforward. And that's what Jeremiah appealed to the people. Let me illustrate the point. In Jeremiah chapter 34, verses 4 and 5, if you will turn with me to the scripture, if you have Bible with you, you should have your Bible with you, my friend. Uh, we are looking at the Bible anyway when we ponder over the word of God. In Jeremiah chapter 34, verses 4 and 5, the scripture says, Yet hear the promise of the Lord, O Zedekiah, king of Judah. This is what the Lord says concerning you. You will not die by the sword, but you will die peacefully. As people make a funeral fire in honor of your fathers, the former kings who preceded you, so they will make a fire in your honor and lament. Alas, O master, I myself make this promise, declares the Lord. So what God is simply saying to King Zedekiah is simply this, that I assure you that you will not die by the sword, but you will surely die, but die peacefully. Interestingly, BBC just last week came up with a news about a research being done in UK university. I can't remember the exact university was mentioned in the university. That actually they have discovered that medical science do not prolong longevity of life. And they discovered that even though medical science and advancement of knowledge of medicine, it helps to actually prevent premature death because it helps and remedy, uh, cures, found cures and remedies to prolong those who, who died earlier due to disease, 30 years old. Now they have lengthened because of the possibility of extending and managing their diseases. They live to 40, 50. So there was evidence that we are pushed further back. But there is a point that they have discovered that is constant through all the research, through the years that they have made the analysis that the average lifespan that we can go as far as we can is about 115 years. That is simply to say, there will come to a time you and I will meet our master. So medical knowledge do not actually prolong and lengthen from 115 to 200 years. No. So the research says it did not, it does not but it helps to prolong those who have early diseases and all that longer in living and managing and some cure. But ultimately, we shall meet our master. And so the scripture is actually constant in reminding us of this truth. And the scripture actually helped tell us to number our days that we may live it wisely for God's glory. 
So the Bible tells us that the appointed time unto man wants to die and after that judgment is for sure. And the word of God points us to all of us to this fact. No matter who you are today, no matter how many degrees you own, no matter how big is your bank account, it is appointed for you to meet the master.